As we begin the new year, 2022, join with me in imagining a world without abortion. Together, let us ask God's wisdom and mercy to make this a reality in our communities, our state, and our nation. I invite you to the diocesan pro-life Eucharistic Adoration Novena, which will take place from January 12th to the 20th. During the Adoration Novena, we will be making spiritual reparation for the plague of abortion during the nine days leading up to January 22nd, the anniversary of the Supreme Court decision Roe v. Wade. Our prayers to Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament will help protect the dignity of unborn children by providing spiritual support and encouragement to all mothers and fathers in need. The prayers will call down to Holy Spirit to guide the minds and hearts of judges and legislators. Later this year, the Supreme Court will render a significant decision that may overturn the practice of abortion. Sadly, the governor, Gavin Newsom, and other state leaders want to shelter the abortion industry in California, putting more women and children at risk. Abortion should not have a place in California's future. Abortion is not health care. California should be a sanctuary where women find companionship and support for themselves and their children. This is the moral climate change that will foster a healthy human ecology. This is our hope and our prayer. During each day of the novena, a different parish will host a Eucharistic novena. In some parishes, the Eucharistic Adoration will be live-streamed through the Diocese of Sacramento Faith Formation Facebook page. If you are not able to personally attend one of the parishes hosting the Eucharistic Adoration, please make a visit to the Blessed Sacrament in your local parish during the days of the Novena. On Friday, January 21st, I have asked the clergy and faithful of the diocese to observe a day of reparation. Those willing and able are asked to offer penance that day by fasting and abstinence, performing works of mercy and prayer. Saturday, January 22nd, is the 49th anniversary of the Supreme Court decision legalizing abortion. In observance of this sad day, many parish communities will be traveling to San Francisco for the walk of life. All of these humble spiritual endeavors are made powerful by our communion with Christ and the Holy Eucharist. We are uniting ourselves to Jesus' saving work on the cross. Through the years, the Lord Jesus has sustained our many spiritual and temporal works of mercy to end abortion and build a culture of life. This has borne much fruit, and we remain hopeful for a future without abortion. Let us not grow tired of doing good for the sake of women and their children. Holy Mary, Mother of Mercy, pray for us.